Hello, everybody. Welcome to the monthly checkup, Who's a winner's finals. This is Leviticus, and I'm joined by my good commentator friend, Betty B. Betty, how the heck are you? Oh, I am looking forward to these awesome matches. If uh, me getting knocked out already is any indication of how great people have uh, gotten and how great they're going to be. Um, I've normally gotten into third, so this is like you know, untested ground for me, but I'm excited to see what all these uh, other players continue to bring to this tournament. Absolutely. Well, I would never say I'm happy that you lost, but I am glad that you're with me here in the booth. Uh, we're going to we're gonna try to give you commentary for the rest of the tournament from here on out, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I'm going to get these guys started, and we will be off very, very shortly. Um, Betty, uh, what, uh, do you have any comments to make on what you expect to see out of this all-Canadian finals that we have here? Well, you know, Canada has sure put themselves on the map in the past year. You have some great players that you see here, as well as Panban, who uh, is in the finals with Snipe as well in the Virus Buster League, as well as, you know, many great ones. Cat, Cat Pants, I know you're out there, and you're a wonderful Canadian, and yourself, love. Let's <laughs> not forget, you are also Canadian and really heckin' good at this game. Oh, I appreciate that. I am super proud of how our uh, Canadian representation has come since uh, 2022 as the lone Canadian in Columbus feeling so... <laughs> So separate from everybody, and now I feel like Canada's really risen up and shown everyone what they can do. Yeah, so. we played the smallest violin for you, and then uh, the Canadians came <laughs> <been> running. <laughs> Alright, these two are off. Oh wow, setting up a... Uh, they, they've had the same idea, unfortunately Snipe got on there a little bit sides. quicker on opposite sides. Yeah, I think Snipe unfortunately picked the right side, now Luke is struggling at the top of the board here. This garbage is gonna give him a little mercy and clear some garbage away so he's not totally stuck up there. He's gonna find a sweet triple, followed oh, by another, wow. a quad in fact! Yeah, and, and that's now who actually picked the right side, because that was pretty awesome and got Luke actually clear in his board. Uh, he is further along in bringing this down um, to the end of of the board, so I think he chose right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, Luke has just seen such massive improvement uh, in the last, uh, since last year, really. Um, you know, a couple of months ago, he was even able to upset Snipe in the winner's side uh, for uh, um, losing to, I believe it was No Izzle um, in, the, in the Grand Finals, but uh, yeah, he's he's just been on a tear, and he's only getting better. His uh, pace of play is incredible, and the speed that he finds combos at, um, it just it can feel really oppressive to play against that, and it's, that's just it's, to, my, to me, that's the mark of a really good player, so he's been doing really well. He's starting to fall behind a little bit now against Snipe, however. Um, things are relatively even, but the board health could be a little more in Luke's favor, I think. I think he'd prefer that. Yeah, and I'm sure, like, in the back of Snipe's mind, he, he knows what he's up against. You know, he, like you said, he did lose to uh, Luke before. And so, um, this is this is something that, you know, Snipe doesn't want to have repeat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, he's going to try and make that not happen. To be fair, he did... Uh, Avenge himself in the, the the next month, where he did Brio Luke uh, right back after they met again in the bracket. So they were tied one and one. And in a lot of ways, this is sort of the decider between the two of them. You can oh, think I of it that, that way if you like. By Luke. <laughs> I love that setup by Luke of uh, foregoing a uh, instant combo for a better board state in order to get a triple instead. So that was I don't know if if that was intentional, but that was definitely a great uh, a great pause for Luke in order to get a better combo. Mm -hmm. Things looking pretty even board health-wise, but I think that uh, Luke has a lot more setups ready to go. As you're seeing, he's just knocking them all down right now. Yeah, and you can see Snipe is also playing a little bit of a, a lopsided board as well, where, uh, you know, his right side is is full of, of pills. Oh, that is not trash he wanted to see. Uh, he had that combo set up with the red, uh, red blue, and but he's going to take the sweet tea with the yellows, but then more trash coming. Yes. Wow. This garbage is Fantastic. just really, really unfortunate for Snipe, but he's handling it like a champ. Uh, still stuck at the top of the board, though. He has a ways to go to, uh, to catch up now. Yeah, Luke is is mostly free and clear, not a lot of of trash, but that sometimes does slow you down a little bit when you don't have trash to kind of focus where you're supposed to be clearing. Um, it can it can kind of slow down your game a little bit. But 
Um, it doesn't look to be the case here in the Luke's, um, he's still putting down the pills and knows exactly where he wants them. Absolutely, yeah. Luke looking very clean, um, outside of a little bit of the uh, popcorn situation in the bottom right here, but uh, nothing that he can't clean up and maybe make some combos out of. Snipe, on the other hand, uh, was able to deal with the Spire on the right side, now starting to break down the left. Has a lot of combos to, uh, to drop here if he can only get the right pieces. Yeah, and uh, Luke sending him some combos right back. Um, I'm... Oh, Luke I missed a combo that possibility that he had. And that's something that some that often happens where you get focused on clearing a certain area and um, miss possible combos. Or maybe he just decided, hey, I don't need it yet. Maybe maybe a combo snipe will send me, we'll take it out. <laughs> and snipe you're really taking the momentum back, just chaining combos to stunlock Luke and, and really uh, build up the center of his board again, and column one not to mention. Oh, I like what, what Luke, I think, is setting up here with, if you look at that column one, that those blues are just ready to drop. Um, he just needs to uh, drop this blue column in, in column three, and then clear with a horizontal yellow, and he has that. And so he, he was actually setting that up for quite some time, so we'll see if the pills come to where he can actually take that. Things very close in virus count and in board health. Like doing a great job of uh, really equalizing things after getting off to a weaker start at the beginning of the game. But uh, now he he has so many combo opportunities on every part of the board, he just has to hope that garbage doesn't uh, mess anything up here too drastically for him if he can't get them in time. But it looks like he's about to get quite a few combos in succession here and start a stun lock. And that's exactly what Luke did not want to see happen because he, uh, doesn't really have a lot set up to answer quite yet, um, but a little bit of trash is helping him send some some trash over to Snipe's way. Meanwhile, Snipe looking almost entirely clean, very free and clear looking right now. This red garbage is going to mess up a little setup he had planned to get the yellow at the bottom right, but I'm sure it's not going to be too much of an obstacle for him at this point. Ah, uh, this red garbage would have been really nice if it was any other color, but it's just going to clear away the bottom right virus for Snipe. He's going to find another combo, and he is on the verge here of taking game one. And now he has this set up for, um, for the yellow horizontally, but uh, knowing... Yep, and he did exactly that, so... Whenever you're playing versus, you don't want just one avenue to win, you want as many as possible. And so he is going to take this now vertically with this last blue, and he is out and uh, taking that first crown. And they're right on to the next one here. Oh, interesting opening move for Luke. Uh, it looks like maybe he had an idea to undercoat his yellows, but I don't think he's going to get to realize that in time before the garbage starts to come from Snipe here. Things are starting to look very precarious right off the bat for him. Mm -hmm. He is going to so break that center down now and find a nice triple, actually. Wow. Very good. But yeah, while, while Luke was trying to puzzle together that, uh, that solve, uh, Snipe just has a ton of setups, but a lot of just red and yellow, which, you know... Getting to throw away the blue as a combo is actually a benefit here, so... And that's what he's he's doing. He's just making making combos wherever he can find them. Oh yeah, this is looking so dangerous though for Luke, but he manages it expertly and he stays alive to stay in this game. And I mean, now Snipe looking pretty high in the, top, uh, in the center of his board. Um, he's going to need to find some sort of combo opportunities here. Something to, to clear that down before the garbage overwhelms him. I honestly think that uh, pill in column 8 was a missed drop by Snipe, but again, when when you have combos upon combos, it, you know, it just turns into another spot where you can throw something, so... Oh, that was very well done by Snipe to just sort of deal with what was happening in columns 2 and 3 there. And you just lose those clutch double reds to, uh, to clear it all away. And give themselves and a some wonderful space. P. That was a great move by Snipe. watching Luke. I, oh, this is not what he wanted. Oh. 
Oh, and he's gonna pop out. Unfortunate. I believe that was some unfortunate garbage. It just fell right in column four, and he was maybe not ready for that. I will say, I've been trying to figure out a name for when somebody gives you additional pills, even though you're already popped out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been trying to figure out a name for that. Same. If if you're on it, go for it. I wouldn't trust anyone else to come up with the perfect name of that, so <laughs> I'm interested to see what you have to come up with, buddy. And Luke's having a cleaner board here, uh, from from the looks of it. Interesting situation in column five, and this yellow garbage is just such a pain point. Red is gonna fall on it now, so. And, and even more, this is getting dangerous. He's gonna have to find some sort of horizontal here to break this down. It looks like he's going for the yellow, but it's pretty but high up. He may not yeah. have time to get there. I think he will, though. Yes, the because platform of this, is done. Yep. Man, that, that was a risky play by Luke. It did end up paying off, but, you know, it, will it continue? Because he continues to just build up high for these combos. Speaking of risky plays, that setup from Snipe was just knocked down. I think he may have even got a, a quintuple combo there, but he was, his whole entire top half of his bottle was full, and then suddenly it wasn't. It was an incredible play for him. Yeah, a game I watched uh, earlier with uh, Dave Smith says he had a massive combo like that, where you, you just like, okay, I, I know you didn't plan for all of that. You couldn't have, right? <laughs> Uh, they'll never tell. Yeah. <laughs> Luke now, uh, not, not doing so well in terms of uh, his height up here on the board right now. Uh, Snipes really seeming to be pulling ahead in, in, all, in all aspects, really. Not seeing a ton of setups either on his part. He's gonna need to start building some combos really quickly if, uh, if he wants to survive here. Yeah, but while Luke is making combo empty combos, I, I will say, like not really getting to the viruses on his board, uh, you know, Snipe is continuing to uh, tear down his uh, side of it. So um, Luke is starting to get towards the virus end of his, um, but you know, Snipe is going to continue raining down the trash and trying to block his way. And that's a very good point, Betty. I mean, empty combos are okay when you're behind, but they really aren't going to bring you back into the game. It's fine mm -hmm. if you're ahead and you're just dumping on your opponent who's about to top out. Then it's, it's less of an issue, and it's never that bad. It's better than no combo, for sure, yep. but uh, it's uh, it's not the uh, it's not the key to victory, that's for sure. You really do have mm -hmm. to think about making progress here. Luke is unfortunately struggling to do that here. I don't know if the, he's really getting... Um, some great pills here to do so. Um, he's really just running out of options now at the top of his board. Yeah, he's like trying to create uh, horizontals at the, uh, almost at the detriment of, you know, making uh, forward momentum. So, uh, it's, he's, he's still trying to stay in this and I, I see, I see the vision, um, but Snipe is just raining down the trash and, uh, non-stop. Yeah, and it's certainly not over. Seth still 16 viruses to go for Snipe, so there is certainly still a chance for a comeback, but uh, mm -hmm. it's hard to imagine a, a player of the caliber of Snipe really giving Luke that opportunity, so we'll see if, if he can find a way. I keep, I keep watching over at Luke's side like, what is he going to do? Oh, yeah, How things are really starting to get crazy, but he's going to find a T. But more There's garbage no. is going to... Beautiful. Yeah, that will open up the center, but if you don't get exactly the right pills here in the moment, which he, he does, though... Uh, and the speed just keeps getting faster, too, so, like, he's gonna have to make these maneuvers faster and faster until, um, you know, he's able to break through here, mm -hmm. or with Snipe the, wins. With the right side of his board cut off, he is gonna have to make a horizontal with almost no room to do so, but he finds a, a triple in somehow, wow. somehow to do that. Um, but he's he's just not able to really make progress here, so um, it's going to take quite a bit here for him to make this comeback. Now, Snipe has a couple of um, outs on his end, and I, I'd like to see what he goes with. Oh, he went with the horizontal there, and I like that because it sets up for that red-yellow um, short stack that he ended up making. So, you know, Snipe knows what he's doing. That's, that's what it comes down to. If we didn't know that before, we know that by watching this game. <laughs> wow, 
wow, it's, Luke is playing this about as well as you could possibly expect, and honestly, uh, if it weren't for the difference in virus count right now, uh, I, I could absolutely see him making a comeback here. And it could still happen if he gets, uh, but I think it's going to take some uh, very specific garbage um, and uh, on, on the on the snipe side of the board to put him behind and buy Luke enough time. And this, oh, these drops, I don't know about this. Wow. Snipe dropping a Thor's hammer on Luke. He's doing the best oh. he can, but he is running out of room and running out of time here. He needs a red! He needs a red! Come on! Uh, oh. That's gonna be that was it. 3 0 for Snipe. He's gonna move on to the grand finals, and Luke is gonna have oh. to fight to get the run back if he wants to get to vengeance here. Alrighty, well, uh, we're gonna queue up the next match here, but don't go anywhere. Uh, we will be right back as soon as possible. Stay tuned, everybody.